We've been doing studies, or better said, my colleagues in Africa have been doing studies in Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Malawi, and Ghana, where we've been looking at villages of commercializing small farmers. And there are some very clear insights there about what allows them co to commercialize. I'm going to talk about two things just now. One is I'm going to say that most of this is driven by the internal markets within those African countries themselves. Cities like Nairobi, cities like Addis Ababa, Dar es Salaam, and so on. These are now major cities for the production of perishable crops, particularly the fruit, the vegetable, the dairy products. And farmers are taking advantage of that. And they will take advantage of it so long as they have decent roads and so long as people are allowed to get on with growing, trading, and so on. So government's job is to enable those conditions and to make sure the roads are in decent state. And an awful lot will happen as a result of that. The second thing I'd say is what farmers are doing, and these are very small farmers, we're talking about people with one, two hectares, uh, rarely more than that, is they are commercializing cautiously. They're keeping their food crops and they're taking a small area and tentatively putting that under the cash crops that will that will earn the money. Um, they don't take risks with their own food security in, in that respect, and they don't usually initially take ma make major changes to their farming system. A bit more fertilizer, a lot more hired labor, uh, some improved seed perhaps, uh, some agrochemicals. And that's how, that's, that, that's how they commercialize. Uh, a lot of it happens um, reasonably automatically, but that doesn't mean there isn't a public role. And probably the one thing which is the biggest riddle in this, or the biggest difficulty we've got, is the lack of working capital which people can get hold of. They're using their own retained earnings, they're using savings from themselves, family and friends. Rural financial systems do not reach these small farmers. And that is probably one of the big policy challenges, is to get rural financial systems that provide uh, straightforward, simple savings accounts, simple loans, um, insurance packages, money transfers, and so on. Uh, that, I think, is probably the biggest single challenge.